a cork in it, Tharn. Size, my friend. Probably the best friend I have. If the vestige is going, I'm going too. Yes, I see. And you are the most qualified. Why? Is it your superior knowledge of Cold Harbor? Your expertise in dealing with Daedric entities? Or is it simply the unrequited puppy love you feel for that shirtless mammoth? The time has come for another foray into Oblivion Vestige. We have one last ally in need of rescue. Indeed, Abnathan and I have been meditating, scrying and poring over Menemarko's notes. And at long last we've discovered the location of the Halls of Torment. Our friend has suffered unimaginable and unending torment for nearly two years. Far longer than any mortal man should endure. But Saisahan is something more than mortal man. He's a descendant of Leki, the Yokudan Sword Saint. I've seen it. We have been able to determine the precise area of the halls where Sai is being held. This is why we were so long about the task. I shall open a portal for you. Lyris and Abner have both agreed to accompany you, but I fear their mutual enmity will complicate your task. Speak with them and hear what they offer, but you must choose one or the other. What's wrong? What did Varen say? Then your choice is clear. I've known Sai Sahan longer than anyone. I should be the one to go. It's your decision. Just know that I'd give my life for you or for Sai. Would Tharn do the same? You look perplexed. What inscrutable riddles is Varen spouting now? Did he? What surprisingly good advice. Titanborn and I are more likely to kill each other than we are to help. The choice is yours. But I recommend choosing brains over brawn. I have valuable knowledge of the Daedra. And don't forget, I'm the mage. A very wise decision. One you won't regret. Trust me. Shall we go? We've a Red Guard Swordmaster to rescue. Go with them. Save Saisahan from the halls of torment. Becoming a sword singer is child's play, Sai. I mastered it in an afternoon. Here, let me show you. Like me. What in damnation is going on here? Where is the Amulet of Kings? 
Tell me or I'll gut you like a fish with your own sword. You see how simple it is to be a sword singer, sir? Slice them to ribbons! Deadly power of my dark sword singers. Witness the deadly power of my dark sword singers. Witness the deadly power of my dark sword sickness. Well, that was unnerving. Can't say that I've ever had to kill a version of myself before, but I must say, even as an evil doppelganger, I'm a very capable opponent. They were a legendary group of Red Guard Swordmasters, wiped out in the first era by the Yokudan Emperor Hira. Sahan spent years trying to resurrect their ancient traditions, but failed utterly. He considered it his greatest failure. The torturers here are using Sahan's memories and darkest fears against him in an attempt to break his will. He and I were never close. In truth, I enjoyed mocking him. I had no idea how deeply it affected him. Interesting. Oh please, we're adults, aren't we? The day I start considering people's feelings before speaking my mind is the day my efficacy as a politician comes to an end. When that day comes, just kill me outright, I beg of you. We appear to have some unwanted visitors in the halls of torment. Let's make them feel well. Your friend always had the opportunity to free himself. All he needs to do is reveal the location of the Amulet of Kings, and you can all be on your merry way.
Just tell me where the amulet is, and we can be together forever, Sai. Isn't that what we both want? Amulet of Kings! Zyla, where is the amulet? If you tell me, this will all be over, and we can finally be together. She seems to be drawing power from those stones. Destroy them, quickly! Still beating. <laughs> Another doppelganger? I didn't think Titanborn could be less appealing. Looks like I've been proved wrong. That's a first. Perhaps if we take out that shield, we can release some heart. Deal with them. You'll be safe here, my love.
for your next Vestige, hold a moment. Well, well, well. Wasn't that a charming little scene? I can't wait to mock, to tell Titanborn all about it. Are you as blind as your vagabond emperor? The first room was about Sahan's failures. This room is obviously an attempt to leverage his subconscious desires. So, our Red Guard friend has a secret crush on the half-giant. A revolt. Please. Titanborn has all the emotional depth of a frost atronach. But who knew Sahan was that sentimental? Then again, he did resist her charms. Good thing, too. That truly would have been a farewell kiss. I can only assume she's Sahan's personal torturer. I have a sneaking suspicion we'll be meeting her again very soon. Come, let's keep moving. We don't get many visitors in the halls of torment, but there's always room for a few more permanent residents. of kings! Where is the amulet of kings? This can all be over if you just tell me. You can finally rest. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Sai? Have I been here two years? Or two thousand years? I, I can no longer tell. But I will never break. Never!
sent you the Emperor he lives this day is filled with wonders they tortured me for many months years perhaps but I did not break my vow the amulet is hidden and safe my strength is returning lead on You have done it, Vestige. Bring him through the portal quickly. Tysahan lives. You've outdone yourself, Vestige. The minds of some men can endure hardships far greater than anything that Daedra can concoct. The forces of loyalty, honor, and friendship are powerful indeed. We must recover the Amulet of Kings, but only when Tysahan has had time to recover. He is a man of great strength, but he will still need to rest after such an ordeal. Sai locked the amulet away in the ruins of San Crator and entrusted the key to one of his close associates. But he can tell you himself. Speak with him. He's eager to meet his liberator. I'll contact you when we're ready to move forward. I owe you my life. My lord calls you Vestige. Strange name. 
Is it true your soul was taken from you? Stranger still. My people say that bravery and honor are the hallmarks of a great soul. Yet you have both of those things in great measure. I had begun to think that honor was a relic of the past. You give me hope. I cannot say. Physically, I am unharmed. But mentally, I feel a darkness in my heart. A weight on my soul. I do not know how long this emptiness will remain. I hid the amulet in a sacred catacomb protected by magical wards. The means of lifting these wards are in the keeping of my old mentor, Kasura. As soon as I am able, we must meet with her. I will try to rest, but I am a warrior. We cannot sit still for very long. <coughs> and I should certainly bathe before we meet with Kasura. I am unpleasantly... fragrant. If she happened to be downwind of me, well, I would never hear the end of it. The path ahead of us is a dark one, but it pleases me to know that I shall walk the path with friends. May we all rest a little easier tonight. I know I shall. Path ahead of us is a dark one. When Saitahan has recovered, you must accompany him on a journey to the Valley of Blades, where his mentor Kasura resides. I will contact you as soon as he's ready to travel. Sahan seems to be relatively unharmed. Can we wrap this up? I have an appointment with a certain young lady, and I need to stop by the money changers first. Women of that stripe seldom do anything on credit. After he came through the portal, Tharn made a wisecrack about Psy being in love with me, and... Psy actually blushed. Now he can't even look at me. What happened in there? Wait, I... I 
don't want to know. Sai's safe, and that's all that matters, right? 